Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about the mysterious sequence question from March Kukov 2020. Okay. Now, in this question, it is said that Chef has invited Alice for his birthday party. Now, Alice is thinking about what to give Chef as a present. She should obviously choose a sequence. What could be a better birthday gift than a sequence? After some thinking, Alice chooses a sequence of integers A1, A2, AN. Okay. A1, A2, AN. However, she does not want to simply give this sequence to chef. Instead, she decided to give a sequence of B1, B2, Bn. In this sequence, each Bi is calculated using this formula. For each valid i, the symbol denotes the bitwise or operation. Okay. So the question says, chef can try to generate a sequence A from B, but there could be more than one such possible sequence. Now, Alice is one thing, how many sequences A correspond to the given sequences B? We need to find out the number of sequences A that can form the current sequence B. Since this number could be very large, compute in 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. Note that this is not guaranteed that the B sequence is generated from some sequence A. Okay. So if B sequence is not generated from any sequence A, we will simply print out 0. Fine. So what is this? Now, if I just write out B1, so I value is 1. So it is nothing but A j equals to 1 to 1 A j. So B1 is nothing but equal to A1. Correct. Now, if I just write it down B2. Now, in case of B2, it is nothing but j equals to 1. So that is A1 and or we get I value is 2. So j equals to 2 A2. So A1 or A2. Now, if we get B3, it is nothing but A1 or A2 or A3. Correct. If we get B4, it is nothing but A1 or A2 or A3 or A4. Fine. Now, if you can just simply see A1 is nothing but the value of B1. So it is nothing but B1 or A2. And this A1 or A2 is nothing but B2. So it is nothing but B2 or A3. And this value is nothing but B3. So it is nothing but B3 or A4. So B4 is nothing but B3 or A4. Correct. So using this and some or of or properties, the question will be solved. Okay. Using this, just, that is just what I have shown you and some or properties, the question will be solved directly. Okay. Just let's see the test cases. So let's say second one, four, two, six, seven, seven. Fine. So let's now build the logic behind it. So if we just see this, it is nothing but B1 equals to A1 equals to 2 in binary in bit manipulation it is in binary format it is nothing but 0 1 0 correct now if we take b2 b2 is nothing but a1 or a2 okay b2 is that is nothing but b1 or a2 now we know the value of b2 b2 value is nothing but 6 so it is nothing but 1 1 0 it is 1 1 0 is formed by 0 1 0 or some a2 value which contains three digits as of now in this example we are just taking three digits well value correct b3 is nothing but 111 which is formed by b2 b2 is nothing but 110 or some value of a2 okay sorry a3 now in the last that is nothing but 111 b4 it is also formed using 111 that is nothing but b3 or a4 value now we do not know this a4 values okay a values but we can find it out directly how we can find it out directly? It's very simple. So this value of 0, 1, 0 or 1, 1, 0. See, 0 or 1. 0 or 1 is the only case we will get 1 as the answer in this particular bit. Correct? 0 or 1 is the only case we will get 1 as the answer in this particular bit. 1 or 0 or 1. In both cases, we will get 1 as the output. Correct? 1 or 0 or 1 or 1. In both cases, we will get 1 as the output. So, in this case, we have two choices. We have two choices. Correct? In this case, we have no choice. Here it was 0. Here it is 0. So, that means here is it is definitely 0. But here we have two choices. Similarly, if we see about this, here it is 1. Here it is 1. Okay? So, anyway, whatever I write here, either 0 or 1 will get 1 as the answer because of this 1 itself. So we have two choices in this particular case. Similarly, if you see here, it is one here, it is one here. So whatever I write here will give me the answer as one because of or. So there it has two choices. Now here it is zero and here it is one. So it is guaranteed that here one is the one was the bit. Okay, zero or one will give me a one. Similarly, if we see about this, here it is one, here it is one. So we have two choices, zero or one. Any value will give me a one as the answer. 
okay here it is one here it is one so here we have two choices and here we have two choices okay so how many possibilities we have for this particular case of a2 for a1 we have no choice it is exactly equal to b1 so for this we have how many two choices correct either it can be 110 or 100 in both case we are getting 110 as the answer in this case also we have how many 2 into 2 that is nothing but four choices we have four different choices and here we have how many eight different choices to the power of three eight different choices okay so in total how many choices we have in total if we just check it out how many choices we have it is one two three four five six we have two to the power of six choices of different cases okay with this if i choose this with this i have all these cases then with this i have all these cases any a sequence any a sequence is valid okay any a sequence so with this one if i choose 110 and any of this sequence is valid for this one this this sequence this sequence is valid okay so any of the sequence is valid therefore 2 to the power of 6 that is something about 64 different choices we have in this particular question okay so how will be going to find this out so we just need to find out these star values that means how many of the bits have these star values okay exactly this we need to find out okay what is the case when there will be no choice that means the answer is zero so so let's suppose the values are two and five so in this particular case it is nothing but zero one zero and we get after or with something okay we get it is at zero sorry one zero one that is five after or with something we get one zero one so is it possible so zero and one yes it is possible the only value we can write here is one okay zero or one will give me a one now it is one and finally it will be zero so is it possible in case that one value is one and we or it with zero or with or it with one we'll get a zero as the answer it is not possible so in this particular case it is not possible it is not possible to write anything here therefore in such cases the answer is directly zero what are the such cases so cases are if in b1 b2 b3 any of the b's if the if this b has a particular set bit if this b has a particular set bit the next b will definitely have that set bit for example if we just see about the two case so it was 0 1 0 and 6 was nothing but 1 1 0 and 7 was 1 1 1 correct so see if this is a set bit and b4 also was 7 so if this is a set bit so in this case also we have a set bit because this has to be there okay because of the all property that i have just explained now if this was the set bit here and if this was the set bit here these both should be set in b3 also if all these three are set in b3 they have to be set in b4 also okay because there is no or operation if the one bit is set and the other bit is anything we will get the value as one definitely in the or operation so therefore what we can do for the zero cases we can simply check if this if this condition if a bit is set in b1 it should be set in b2 also if the bits are set in b2 it should be set in b3 also if the bits are set in b3 it should be set in b4 also we can simply check this how we can simply check this it is nothing but 0 1 0 and and we are ending it with the next element that is 1 1 0 we'll get 0 1 0 as the same answer if the bits are set if the if the bits in this particular one are already set in this one so that means we will get the same b1 again similarly if we had 1 1 0 and b3 1 1 1 since the bits are set we will get 110 again as the answer we are end this is nothing but end now in the case of 5 it was 0 1 0 and 1 0 1 if we end it out so as you can see here we get a different answer we get 1 we get 0 0 0 as the answer okay in the case of end so since the bit set here is not set here therefore this here also it becomes not set so you will be using end so what we are doing we are doing bi and bi plus 1 okay this should be giving bi or if you want to go in reverse so bi minus 1 and and bi should be equal to bi minus 1 okay so this how we will be checking about the zero case now how we are going to count this number of ones and number of asterisk marks that we have just wrote it here this is also important how we are going to count it so just see about this same point that i have explained just now that if the bit is set here the bit needs to be set here also if the bits are set here they need to be set in the next element correct now if the bit is set here it has to be set in this one also in this case only we are getting what we are getting the asterisk sign okay 
if the bits are set here then we are getting the asterisk sign in b3 as you can see if the bit is set here we are getting an asterisk sign since two bits are set we are getting an asterisk sign all the three bits are set in that case only we are getting the asterisk sign okay the new ones that are coming to us these ones these are the new ones that are coming to us okay they are not giving me asterisk signs they are not giving me asterisk signs the old ones that are already present are giving us the asterisk signs but the new ones are not giving us the asterisk signs okay so what we can do is we can simply check for our number of ones that we have number of set bits that we have inside our elements but is this enough let's test this out so let's see this point in this particular case the first one will be definitely we will have no choice the second one this one is giving me a choice okay so this one here the count of one in the two bit is giving me one choice okay now if this one is giving me a choice and this one is giving me a choice in seven correct we have already seen that now in this this one is giving a choice this is also giving a choice this is also giving a choice these ones are not giving a choice because we are not moving any further okay so how many ones are giving us a choice it is nothing but all the set bits that we have except the last element all the set bits that we have except the last element is giving us a choice okay and one more way to look at it is nothing but let's see that point also so if we have here 0 1 0 okay and 1 1 0 so this is a new one this is currently this is not giving me a choice this is a new one okay only this the old one present here is giving us choice of 2 okay this is a strict correct now if we just see about the sixth cases so in this case this will give me a choice this will give me a choice but this is a new one this is not giving me a choice currently okay these are new ones they are not giving me a choice currently okay in the final one if we see that so all of them are giving us a choice all of them are giving us a choice so we can what we can do is we can identify what are our new ones we can identify what our, are our new ones and accept that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be our answer. 2 to the power 6 will be our answer. So identifying which are our new ones is also pretty simple. So how we can identify which are our new ones? See, if this is a new one, it will be definitely set here in the next element and this will be definitely set in the last element. So whichever one is introduced, it will be definitely set in the last element. In the last case whichever one is introduced it will be definitely set in the last case if this one is introduced here it will be definitely set in the last element okay this we have already seen if a one is set in the but one particular element it will be set in all the elements after it so whichever ones are introduced they are definitely set in the last element so what we can simply do is we can count all the number of ones that is one two three four five six seven eight nine and we can subtract the last number of bits in the last number that is 3 so that is 9 minus 3 that is nothing but 6 okay because these are representing all the ones that came all the ones that came okay new ones are represented by these values okay now instead of counting these we will be counting these instead of counting these we will be counting these and we are already counting these fine so either this explanation or this explanation you can move with any of these explanations okay either what we can do we can just count all the number of set bits and count the number of set bits in the last element and we can subtract this out or we, what we can do we can count all the number of set bits except in the last element same thing correct either subtract it or just do not count it at all fine so let's see the code for this now okay what are the conditions that we need to check first one is if a bit is set in one particular b element it will be set in all the other b elements as well correct and the second condition we need to see is count all the number of set bits except n minus 1 and 2 to the power of that number will give us the answer with more 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 fine so let's see the case now let's see the implementation now uh, so here it is we have n we have mod values then b array is taken as input after this simply b i minus 1 see this is from i equals to 1 to n so we are going from b i minus 1 and b i should b equal to bi minus 1 if it is not equal to bi minus 1 then simply see out 0 flag will be 1 and break so if flag was 1 then we do not have to do anything if flag is 0 that means all everything is fine and we are moving to the if condition now in this we are simply counting all the number of set bits except the last element so this code is for counting all the number of set bits that we have inside so there is a building function also for this particular case okay now after this this will store our result the number of set bits will be in the count so 
accept the last element by counting the set bit so it's simple result equals to result into 2 mod that is 2 to the power of result mod 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 and finally we are printing the result okay so this was the code for this particular question thank you